everybody, Punisher88 here, wanting to take the time to wish all the Canadian members of the YouTube comic community a happy Canada Day. So, today being Wednesday, this is where I would normally give you guys a backstory on a lame supervillain or superhero. But I figured, since today is Canada Day, why not do a tribute? So therefore, today's video is dedicated to a true Canadian superhero by the name of Captain Canuck. So, as you may know, Captain Canuck is a Canadian superhero. Doi! Uh, he was created by cartoonist Ron Leishman and artist-slash-writer Richard Comley. The original Captain Canuck first appeared in Captain Canuck issue number one in July of 1975. Uh, the series was the first successful Canadian comic book since the collapse of the nation's comic book industry following World War II. Uh, over the years, three characters have worn the Maple Leaf costume of Captain Canuck. The first Captain Canuck patrolled Canada in the then future year of 1993, where Canada had become the most powerful country in the world. Uh, he was the costume agent of the Canadian International Security Organization. Now, like most independent comics, Captain Canuck's adventures have been published kind of sporadically. Also, Captain Canuck is sometimes confused with the Marvel character, the Guardian, who is the leader of Alpha Flight, created by Chris Claremont and John Byrne in 1978. Uh, both characters have very similar costumes since both are based on the colors of the Canadian flag. Now let's take a look at the three three different characters who have donned the name of Captain Canuck over the years. So first off, uh, Canuck's first appearance was in 1975, published by Comley Comics with an X in Winnipeg, Manitoba. The story followed Tom Evans. Canadian secret agent who gains superhuman strength from contact with extraterrestrials. Uh, the first version of the Canadian superhero ran for three issues before going on hiatus in 1976. In 1979, it came back with calmly being backed by CKR Productions and publishing 11 more issues plus a summer special concluding in early 1981. Uh, it was drawn mostly by George Freeman, taking over from Comley, who did the writing and lettering. Uh, Comley was pushed out of CKR after issue number 12 was completed, and issue 13 and 14 were outlined. Uh, the complete issue 15 was finally published in 2004 as a limited edition by Comley. Uh, since the original, two newer incarnations of the Canadian icon have appeared. Comley launched a second version in 1993 uh, under the imprint Sample Comics. Set in the present, Captain Canuck Reborn featured a new Captain Canuck by the name of Darren Oak, uh, who fought a global conspiracy. Uh, the title lasted four issues from issue zero to issue three. And uh, this incarnation of Captain Canuck continued as a newspaper comic strip for a short while after. Uh, a third incarnation, sometimes called the West Coast Captain Canuck, uh, edited by Comley but written and drawn by brothers Rial and Drew Langlois, appeared in 2004 under the banner of Cowley Comics. This time no X. Uh, entitled Captain Canuck Unholy War. Yet another man, RCMP Constable David Semple, uh, adopts the guise of Captain Canuck to take on a biker gang called the Unholy Avengers. Uh, Unholy War was slated as a three issue miniseries, where the third and final installment was published in January of 2005. However, uh, the series came out with a fourth issue under the Hot Hail Comics banner 
in August of 2007, which fully concluded the character. Uh, a miniseries written and illustrated by Cal uh, Calmly, sorry, uh, Cap uh, titled Captain Canuck Legacy, uh, began in the fall of 2006. Uh, it contained two continued stories. One detailed the efforts of the second Captain Canuck to prevent illegal weapons from reaching Canada, while the second chronicled the continued adventures of the third Captain Canuck. While the series has remained in limbo for some time, uh, the official Captain Canuck website stated that the remainder of the series would be completed in 2009. Uh, Captain Canuck issue 1.5 was published in August of 2011 as a limited edition of 5,000 copies, only distributed in Ontario. Uh, in 2013, Captain Canuck was reimagined for a five episode animated web series by Captain Canuck Incorporated and Smiley Guy Studios. Uh, Chris Holden Reed uh, voices Captain Canuck, and Paul Amos uh, voices his antagonist, Mr. Gold. Several other actors voiced roles in the series, including Tatiana Maslany, who you may know as the um, lead character on the show Orphan Black. She played the voice of a character called Redcoat. And Laura Vandervoort, who you may know as Cor uh, Cora Zorel, also known as Supergirl, in Smallville, she played the voice of a character called Blue Fox. Uh, the success of the web series allowed for a one-shot comic book, the 2014 Captain Canuck Summer Special, uh, which was released on Canada Day last year, at comic shops all across Canada. Uh, this is the first time since 1981 that the summer special was released and also a Captain Canuck issue zero was released on free comic book day this year and if you guys watched my free comic book day haul you guys would know that I got that issue. <laughs> anyway so this comes to the end of our, our tribute, I guess you could say, to a true Canadian hero. But stick around because um, now I'm going to be doing the drawing to my uh, 100 subscriber contest. So just sit tight and I'll be right with you. Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's time to pick a winner so uh, I cut out all the entrant names I have five here uh, if you guys were keeping track you you may know that there were six uh, the sixth entrant or technically the fifth entrant was uh, Kostan Bromstar but I just checked his uh, YouTube channel and it showed that there was no content or anything so I'm guessing that's pertaining to the video he posted a couple days ago where he said he had to step away from everything for a while. So dude, if you're watching this, I apologize that your name isn't in the drawing now, but there, ju there just wasn't any like way of contacting you or whatever to see what was going on. So again, I apologize, but therefore now there are five names to be entered in the special Punisher cap. So the first one is Mr. Vintomania. Next we have Robin Nico's Corner. Next we have Liking the Covers 4963. Next, we have the comic book Estite. Whoops. Overshot the runway. Where'd it go? There he is. 
And then last but not least, my brother from another mother, JC the Comic Geek. All right, folks. So your names are in the hat. Who will win? Who knows? All right. Let's find out. And the winner is... The Comic Book Estate. Congratulations, man. You were the last entrant, and therefore now you are the winner. So, um, I don't know how you want to do it. May, send me a mess, uh, like a, a private message here on YouTube. Uh, you know, the mailing details and whatnot. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take for your prize to get to you. Uh, you know, concerning the mail and all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, congratulations, man. And I want to take the time to thank everyone who entered. This was awesome. Uh, and as it stands, I am at 120 subscribers right now. So uh, maybe the next thing I'll do is if I eventually hit 150, maybe I'll do the proverbial Q&A type of deal. So who knows? But I got to hit 150 first. So anyway, again, thanks to everyone who entered. I really appreciate it. Uh, loved all the questions and answers and, well, questions and answers. All the answers to my questions. They were awesome. And again, to the comic book estate, congratulations for winning. So I'll put your your little goodie bag together. And lucky for you, Com Comic-Con here in Montreal is this coming weekend. So maybe, well browsing through the vendors and stuff maybe I'll find something to put together who knows so um, yeah before I start rambling thanks a lot and uh, again uh, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if not thumbs down if I get a thumbs down that just means I gotta work harder on trying to please you guys and uh, if you enjoy these like uh, backstory uh, videos to comic characters take a look around my channel I got plenty of them also if you're into comic book reviews or unboxings I got plenty of those as well and uh, make sure to comment on any video you see because I love reading the viewer comments and whatnot I love that interaction and uh, like any video dislike any video that's right I said dislike because let's face it None of us are perfect. And then before leaving, make sure to click that subscribe button. Alrighty? So that's it for now. So till tomorrow for the Thursday review, I'll see you then. Alright, folks. So this is Punisher88 signing off. See ya.